Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters I hope you're praying your salahs as well as looking to the Quran and Hadith for guidance in your everyday life If you're watching this video and it's salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please use the link in the description to donate to the people in Palestine The charity I've teamed up with has a 100% donation policy Please also check out the description section of this video to support the channel Recently Brett Cooper who works for the Daily Wire a media organisation that also hosts people such as Jordan Peterson as employees did a video on woke Jewish YouTuber Ethan Klein and how his support for Israel backfired on him due to his leftist audience not liking his stance. Brett also spoke highly of Jordan Peterson and called Ethan's dislike of Jordan as I told you so moment for the all-knowing ex-addict JP who warned him about the leftist mob. I'm not a fan of Ethan Klein even before this whole continued and non-stop elimination of Muslims in Palestine at the hands of Israel fiasco. However, I did used to think Jordan Peterson made some good points in regards to liberal culture when he was buzzing off pills. But over the last year, and especially since the recent illegal Israeli invasion of Palestine, I've lost all respect for him and don't see him as objective or based. To be honest, as far as I know, this is the first time Brett Cooper has spoken about what's happening between Israel and Palestine in a roundabout way. And I've done videos on Brett before where I was complimentary. And honestly, I do think she comes across as likeable and makes good content. Again, due to how consistent conservative or religion Islam is, we have some crossover views when it comes to how liberalism is generally negative. So this video is not to attack her, but instead is to differentiate how Muslims are not on the political left, nor are we on the political right. Any true Muslim does not play these silly Western political allegiance games, because our religion does not permit us to be part of these cringe-worthy groups. Brett taking sides with Jordan Peterson is expected, as they both work for the Daily Wire, a Zionist media outlet owned by anti-Muslim geek Ben Shapiro. Unless you've been living under a rock, you will have heard the insanely demonic statements made by Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson to justify the continuous slaughter of non-Hamas innocent civilians in Palestine. The Daily Wire paint themselves as a conservative, right-leaning news outlet and as an opposing point of view to the left-wing liberal mainstream media. But if we look at what both these sides are currently saying about what's happening in Palestine with no end in sight, it's abundantly clear they are echoing the same sentiments. When anti-Muslim right-wing nuts like Tommy Robinson, who are normally anti-semitic too but have made an exception under these circumstances because they hate Muslims more are cheating on the left-wing mainstream media in regards to Palestine there is no differentiation in your views when Donald Trump and Joe Biden feel the same way about allowing Palestine to be destroyed by bullying bigots in the Israeli government there is no right or left you're all united Muslims are not on either side of the spectrum and if you are Muslim and you think you are you're being foolish a religion opposes the values of the rainbow community and radical feminism the same way it opposes racism and Zionism. Let's always keep our stance Islamic and never put silly Western political labels on ourselves because it's clear from all their infighting and then uniting over the pillage of Palestine, they have no solid foundation for their shaky moral high grounds. Now back to Brett Cooper. As far as I know, I've never heard her slander Islam or Muslims. She's not publicly discussed her religious views or if she has any at all, which I guess is a smart move on her part. But judging from her support for Jordan Peterson and her current employer, I can only assume that she has a similar stance to them when it comes to Israel's current elimination of Palestinian children on a mass scale. However, to be fair, she has not explicitly said so. Before I roll the clip, I want to be clear, I do not support Hamas, just like I do not support the IDF. And when I speak of Zionists, I'm not referring to Jewish people as a whole. Zionism is a political supremacy movement in Israel, similar to the Hinduvta movement in India, and it is not the same as Judaism, the religion with which Islam shares some similarities. Let's take a look at the clip. The great and wonderful Jordan Peterson. There's a lot of people that would not call Jordan that anymore because now they hate him. They think he is problematic. The more you give in to woke, cancel culture fueled politics, if you give them even an inch, they will take a mile. And we are currently seeing this play out with one of the biggest YouTubers out there, Ethan Klein, also known as H3, the leader of canceling people online. And now he is facing the wrath of his own creation due to expressing his own feelings about the Israel-Palestine conflict. For context, Ethan and his wife Hila are Jewish. I'm not sure if they are practicing, but they are ethnically Jewish. And Hila is from Israel. She did her few years in the Israeli army. Her entire family is still there. And this heritage is incredibly important to them. What I saw in that discord was people near universally calling me a Zionist pig, mass murdering, genocidal freak. A lot of these people are watching this show and it frankly disturbed me. Yeah, those people are watching your show. You are inspiring them on a daily basis. Maybe that is the mirror 
that's being held up in front of your face. Somebody commented and said, this really has been something to see. I never thought that the progressive Jews would get abandoned by their own comrades. Ethan is finding out what happens when you go against the woke mob. And listen, I don't want to celebrate this situation because obviously this man is hurting, his family is hurting, his wife is hurting. It's just sad overall, but it didn't have to be this way because Ethan was warned about this by none other than Jordan yeah. Peterson. And not only was he warned about this, but he turned around and he mocked that warning. So when Ethan really started becoming radical and became cancel culture trigger happy, he deleted that podcast episode that he did with Jordan Peterson and dragged his name through the mud online with his audience. Yeah, I'm sure it was much easier to make fun of him and do your Jordan impression and throw this out of proportion and say it was ridiculous when you were not being attacked. But look what happened. You did make a mistake in the eyes of the mob. You are being attacked. The chickens have come home to roost. You made fun of this man for pointing it out correctly and you're facing the consequences. Somebody commented a week ago and said, and Jordan was right, as he usually is. Are we surprised by any of this? Absolutely not because we have seen this time and time again. We know that this is what happens. The left and any bullies for that matter will always eat their own. You can give and give and give, but it will never be enough if you do not comply and fall in line with every single one of their ideological demands. You can twist yourself up in knots for them, compromising your principles so that you can be accepted. And then suddenly you're left with nothing. No friends, no community, and most importantly, no integrity with yourself. You must have the courage to not need their approval and to live life in accordance with your values, whatever they may be. Okay. Okay, so let's firstly look at what I agree on here. Yes, the leftist woke mob are full of contradictions and empty virtual signaling to score points. And I agree, cancel culture is disgusting. However, the left is not pro-Palestine. Again, just look at the mainstream media coverage of this. The right-leaning conservatives will claim that phrases like Islamophobia are coined by the woke liberal leftists. Okay, cool, we won't use that. Let's call it a prejudice against Muslims, or a dislike of Muslims, or unfairness towards Muslims. Both the majority of the supposed right and the supposed left currently have that going on in some capacity. And what boggles my mind is, and I don't know if Brett saw the recent interview Georgia Peterson did with Piers Morgan, where Jordan was saying anti-semitism is practiced by leftists. Which is absurd because the whole anti-semitism slogan is coined by the left, the same way as Islamophobia is said to be. When you have people like Kanye West, a conservative Christian, making less than complimentary statements about Jewish music executives, treating him unfairly, he was cancelled by the left and called anti anti-Semitic by the left. Jordan even drew parallels between what he called leftist pro-Palestinian supporters with Nazis, which is again confusing because aren't that group extremely right-wing and currently support the IDF wiping out Palestinians with glee. If you really want to draw a realistic parallel, I would say the Zionists are more like the Nazis because they are exterminating Muslim Palestinians in the same manner that the Jewish community suffered in World War II. So Jordan is making this up as he goes along and there's a reason why these right-wingers are trying to twist these narratives and pit political adversaries against each other. It's to gain support from the sheep who blindly follow these carefully politically marketed tribes. In that same interview, Jordan Peterson gave no short-term solution to stopping the atrocities happening in Palestine, but instead blamed Iran and Palestinian politicians for Israel's continued unproportionate carnage when asked by peers about if Israel was at fault for stopping food and energy supplies and for not ending their so-called self-defense appropriate response, which has resulted in over 5,000 Palestinian children losing their lives so far. The fact that Israel has control over another country's food and energy supplies confirms everything about Gaza being an open-air prison. Jordan Peterson then went on to give kudos to the king of the leftist woke mob, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, for his stance on this inhumane slaughter, which by the way is the same as Jordan Peterson's. You can't make this transparent nonsense up. In the same interview, Peterson went on to cite the long-term strategy of the Abraham Accords Agreement as bringing peace to the region with Israeli and American political allies, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. All these nations don't care about the loss of life happening in Palestine as we speak, as they are all probably gaining from it the longer it goes on, because they are all in business together. Jordan Peterson is a walking contradiction and is not an objective voice in this madness. He is not partial. He is on the Israeli Prime Minister's side, which is clear from how he couldn't find any fault with him during Jordan Jordan's interview with peers. And unfortunately, Brett Cooper defending JP in any capacity when it comes to this delicate topic 
and seconding his sentiments about pro-Palestinian people being leftists sadly puts her in that same box. All you guys need to just put the political nonsense to the side and just admit you support the genocide in Palestine and despite your petty differences in your political groups, the reality is when it comes down to the human lives of what happened to be Arab Muslims, you don't really care. This is not about childish left-wing, right-wing side-taking. These are human beings being eliminated in massive numbers. It shocks me and has made me lose faith in humanity to see such disregard for our fellow human beings. Save us your false morality attached to the smoke and mirrors of your political ideologies. The Quran told us about the nature of these people. It's just shocking to see it in real time and at the height of its arrogance and evil. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.